still wanted to show you a decent little coverage defense that you can use to kind of slow down pretty much any meta formation that you're going to be facing in Madden 22. And we're going to show this out of the dollar three two six. Now the dollar three two six is one of the best pass defenses in Madden 22. It gives you a lot of possibilities from a coverage perspective. It gives you great personnel on the field. It just it, there's a lot of benefits to running uh, this in particular defense. It's got some matching coverages within it. It's got you know really good blitzing pressure. It's got um, cover three cloud type of coverages. It's got cover four. It's got really good cover one robber man coverages. There's a lot of value to running a dollar based defense. Another thing that's really cool about it that most people don't talk about too much is the fact that the defense aligns um, in a really, really good way for your user and also just for symmetry. It doesn't typically require very much to flip the formation against trip sets. Uh, which is a great benefit to running this. So this is a dollar three two six coverage defense that I've been putting together here. And um, if you guys want to check out more about the dollar defense, you can join my Patreon. Um, I've got some stuff in there on the a uh, little bit more in depth stuff in the Patreon on the dollar defense. We're going to be adding more stuff in um, in the coming weeks with that. The cool part about Patreon is it gets you access. Um, to not only one, but it also gets you access to 19 offensive and defensive ebooks. It also gets you access to any exclusive updates to those ebooks and any new ebooks that we will release while your membership is active. And it's only $10 a month to sign up for that. If you want to do that, there's a link in the description that you can click on that will allow you to get signed up for the Patreon membership. Let's take a look here at this dollar three two six defense and really um, a package that I really like out of this. This is the safeties package. So what you want to do if you look at the um, if you look at the right below the prevent, you're going to see the safeties thing. That means that with right stick, I can move these packages to whatever I want. Now I've subbed people already in to whatever I want them wherever I want them to be. Once I've subbed them in, I can do these safeties packages. You're noticing that nobody's going to change where they're at. So I'm just going through all the packages here, but you want to be in the safeties package for this. So you do that by flicking the right stick to the right or to the left to get to that. Once that safeties package is there, you're good to go. So we're going to be using the safeties package, and this is going to be a cover two base coverage. And we're going offensively, come out in tight wide off, one of the better formations in the game. And what I like to do with this is first and foremost, I love to baseline this defense, especially against anything compression. And what you're gonna notice is that this adjustment is going to give us different adjustments for our deep safety. So our safeties now, we could put them in outside thirds to the left and outside third to the right. And you're gonna see that, okay, so now we can put them in outside thirds. But the cool part about dollar is it gives you two middle linebackers in the middle of the field that you can do a, con a couple different things with. You can also, in this formation, put this slot corner on the right side into an inside third. So if you wanted a middle third, you could do that. If you want a vert hook so that you have um, a little bit better coverage, then you could certainly do that. Let me show you that real quick. So you're gonna see, I can just reset my play, put him back in a vert hook. Uh, but really typically what I'm gonna do with this is I'll typically go ahead and deep, uh, deep third this guy right here. And then I'm gonna use her, uh, this guy. If you want to pinch your defensive line just to kind of help your run defense a little bit, you certainly can do that. Um, and then you can bluff blitz one of your defensive linemen for a little bit better underneath protection. As you can see, this is just a really nice little Tampa coverage. And the some of the best bombs in the game just don't work against this. You're gonna see right here, you get good sheds and the middle thirds just do a really good job. Now the other thing that the middle thirds do a really good job at um, allowing is it allows you to have um, pretty decent coverage when it comes to, and you see how fast you can set this up. It really doesn't require a lot. If you don't want a baseline, you don't have to, but I do like to baseline out of this. Um, but what you'll see here is these outside thirds on the right and the left for this deep crosser from PA cross, I can I can kind of pass that off. It's a really hard throw to hit that. Notice the vert hook's matching, and you see right there, it's a pretty good little coverage for one of the best routes, um, one of the best routes in Madden 22 this PA cross, I'll show you again here. So if they maybe do something like this with a streak clear, um, a good clear out route, let me go back to the, there we go, boom, boom. Okay, so you have something like this. And again, you're baselining, you're pressing, and then you can kind of get your, your, your D line pinched if you want them pinched. And what you'll see here, you got good flat protection, you got matching on that, on that deep vertical hook, see that right there? 
and those outside thirds are still going to be in the area. So you got great coverage. The vertical hook is one of the most valuable zones in the game. Um, if they were to try to just attack, let's say they try to attack the flats with wheel routes, or not flats, but like seam wheels. So something like this with a seam wheel to the right. What you're going to notice out of this coverage a lot of times is if you have your cover two and you're using a vertical hook, a lot of times this wheel route to the running back really not open. You see how he drops right into the area and puts him in a good in a good position to guard that. The other thing that's so wheel routes aren't really open. The other thing though, if you take a look uh, an instant replay here, this flat route is kind of open but you're gonna rally down and tackle that for typically less than five yards. So you have a really good chance to hit some of these underneath flats. Most people don't just throw to the flats. I mean, they just really don't. Uh, so let me show you another example. Like for example, this route to uh, Gronkowski, and this is a tight end wheel. You'll see that these wheels, they really struggle against these vert hooks. So if you take a look here on the right, you're gonna see that tight end wheel and you see that it's hard to throw against a vertical hook, okay? So that's why I like the vertical hook zones. And then what you can also do with this, let's say it's like a short yardage play, you really want these vert hooks to play underneath. You can shade your coverage down and then re-cloud flat your outside guys. And then you can, of course, put your zones on the field. And what you'll see is now you're in a position where, you know, if they try to hit you with a wheel, um, it's just not, if you just take a look here, you're going to see those vert hooks just go crazy. And you see you've got great rally coverage to the flat. And so um, this is just a really simple defense that you can use out of dollar. Um, it's actually very easy to adjust out of this too. You have what I call swing defenders, which are your slots. The slots, you can crawl, you can man them up on players. Um, you can keep them in vert hooks. You could put them in, you know, if you wanted to, to mable one side and leave the vert hook on the other side, something like this right here. Uh, you could certainly do that. And as you can see here, just, you know, it's hard to throw stuff that is typically easy against pretty much any other coverage in the game. So the cool part, too, is it's not just um, it's not just something like this, but you have you can go to, um, you know, cover six, for example, and play some match coverage. What I like about this cover six here is you basically got quarters on the right and then you have match uh, two on the left. So what you can do is this linebacker in the middle is again one of those guys that's kind of a swing defender. He's someone that you can kind of do a lot with. So if we want to man him up on somebody, we certainly could do that. So we could drop, for example, we could drop the defensive end on the right into a bluff blitz and we could man that um, linebacker up on you know whoever we might want to take away in this situation. And what you'll see is this cover six uh, can do a pretty good job uh, against a matching perspective. You see here this post, not really open against it. And it's a it's really a nice little quarter, quarter, quarter half coverage that you have uh, within this. If you go, if you want to run a little bit more match, I'll show you how to run quarters from this real quick uh, while I'm thinking about it. And again, if you want to learn more about this defense, uh, just jump into Patreon. There's a link in the description if you want to sign up for that. It's only 10 bucks. To do that but if I go back out of this and I let's say for example I'm not in the safeties package you know I just let's just say I, I come out in you know just regular the regular dollar you're gonna notice a couple things so first things first you're gonna notice that I can't put those outside safeties and outside thirds however if I wanted to do something like this this is why cover three cloud is so good you'll notice on the right side here I have an outside third to the wide side of the field and then I could go with an inside or a half to the short side. So I could go with something like this if I wanted to. There's nothing wrong with that at all. You can kind of get back into the same basic idea. But the other thing that I can do is, let's say I wanted to play match. Um, you know, what I can do with this is if I want to play match, make sure my play art is not glitched. There we go. Okay. So if I wanted to play match coverage, what I could easily do, if I wanted to play quarters, um, just basically outside quarter, the outside corner, inside quarter, the inside or the safety, and then put the um, put the linebacker or not the linebacker, but the the slot corner into a uh, curl flat, and then you know I could go ahead and just you know again bluff blitz it's anyone on the defensive line, it doesn't matter, and then with that middle linebacker, I can take him and I can put him up on anyone that I want. I can man him up. I could leave him in the middle of the field. Oftentimes against a formation like this, I'll man him up on the tight end 
or um, um, just because I know kind of the wheel route is the big thing. But what you see now is you're going to play traditional quarters. You get nice matching across the board. It's really one of the better coverages in the game. So this dollar three two six defense is definitely growing on me, um, especially because Escape Artist is is definitely losing steam. And the beauty of this is, you know, it's in the forty six playbook, so we still have access to the nickel normal and the three three five wide for the run. But this is a great formation, a great package if you're trying to stop the pass, uh, which is really really cool because again you can build a nice pass defense very simply just with this and you know again you can just kind of man up the right guy and i mean you'll see right here just real simple but really effective coverage and you see you're going to be able to get over the top and make some plays over the top so anyways guys that's the dollar i think you should, might consider running that in combination with the wide um, you can obviously do a lot of stuff in terms of the blitzing here uh, one of the things that we can do like let's say you want to get pressure all you have to do is blitz both slots and then I like to crash my line down and then just pass commit and what you should see here is you're gonna get a basic little five-man rush typically goes in um, against the you know against anything they're gonna do another way you could do it if you want to um, this is one of the other things I like to do is you can manually these guys you can kind of slide in and it's actually an advantage to your defense you don't need them to be necessarily right over the top of players especially if you're playing match and zone so you can kind of bring them in like this. And what you're going to notice is they're going to absolutely scream off the edge. So this is a fun little defense. I would really encourage you to try it out. Dollar three two six. Like I said, in the Patreon membership, we're going to be updating it uh, with some more stuff on dollar three two six and kind of building the, the defense within that as well. So if you want to learn all that stuff, again, the Patreon is linked in the description below. And you can sign up for that for just $10 a month and unlock everything over there, all the ebooks, any new ebooks, and any new updates uh, to ebooks over in the membership.